Hello, I'm Van Gogh. I'm painting sunflowers. There's no sunflowers today. I'm painting them from dandelions, but I paint sunflowers every day. Paint with Steve on Facebook Live, Mondays, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Steve Tracy Gallery. There'll be something new every week. See you then. Late. Welcome to Steve Paint with Steve on Steve Tracy Gallery Facebook. Today, everyone, we're going to be doing sunflowers. Hi, Van Gogh. Any Van Goghs out there? I just wanted to say that uh, welcome everyone during this time of, uh, of a different kind of world. And uh, this is going to help uh, spend some of that time in a real positive way. So uh, today we're going to be painting sunflowers. Uh, now, there aren't any sunflowers out today, but I painted many of them before, and, uh, and I loved Van Gogh's work. And so uh, what I have here, you can see in, in front of me, I have an orange canvas. You can paint on a white canvas, but if you want to take some time right now and paint on an orange canvas, just take a little bit of red and yellow with water and just do a wash with your one-inch brush. And a light wash, not real wet, just to get it nice and orange or you can paint on white um, but I paint on a ground they call this a ground it's basically a background color and uh, and you'll see why this is going to be um, advantageous later because these colors show through the other colors uh, if you're not painting the whole uh, canvas with color some of that color will come through and give you a really neat kind of a flashing technique um, Okay, so um, first of all, my brushes are the same as last week. I have an a, a inch and a half flat brush right here. I have a, a number six filbert, a number eight bright or flat brush, and then a one inch brush. And that's all we really need. I will be using a palette knife also. And you can get these, these are, you can get the plastic ones at uh, Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Um, and I'm gonna be drawing out on my canvas my sunflowers. Okay, so um, now I don't mind, I'm gonna use this magic marker. Now, people will say, no, not a magic marker, but I'm gonna be painting over it. And if it, some of it shows through, it's okay. So I'm just going to, paint some ellipses um, and an ellipse are just discs of different here's a here's an here's a circle an ellipse is when the circle goes like this you see that that's an ellipse so that's going to be a sunflower shape i'm going to do one like this you know do one like this Okay, so here we've got four sunflowers, and, they, and these two are connected, so there are three masses here. Okay, now I'm going to paint in, this is the, the sunflower center. Now I'm going to draw, rather, the petals. Just long petals you can overlap them here that's okay we're going to overlap this sunflower with these petals come over here yeah Van Gogh was one of my favorite painters when I was starting out I loved Van Gogh's work by the way, I want to say hello to everybody out there. And I want to make an special hello to all of my friends in Colorado, Southern Ontario, all across Canada. I want to say bonjour to my friends in France and hola to my buddies in Spain. And just a warm welcome on this beautiful Monday morning. 
or afternoon here in Ontario. If you're on the West Coast, it's going to be 10 o'clock. It's a little bit wonky, but that's okay. You want all these petals to show through either be behind or in front of the sunflowers. So these are big sunflowers. And it doesn't have to be perfect. In artwork, nothing's perfect. Okay, so we're getting our petals in. Okay. These petals are going to be going behind that sunflower. Let's do a stem here. Now the leaf of a sunflower is kind of a heart shape. I'm just going to do a big heart here. Your regular heart. Do another leaf over here. Do a leaf behind here. Okay, there we go. We got a couple of leaves in there. Do another leaf in here. Okay, now with my, my palette is the same as last week. It's yellow, red, and blue, and white and black. Now I've mixed my yellows like this. So I have red and yellow, which makes orange, and then different, different shades of orange. And so I'm going to use that palette there. I'm going to take my, my, what, my inch and a half brush. And with the brush, I'm going to go under this yellow with a little bit of orange in it. And I'm just going to start painting in my petals. Okay. Um, I like to use mixed media. So if I were to use whatever I wanted, that's okay. Some of you could be working in oil. Some of you could be working in watercolor or crayons. Okay, so just painting in the yellow sunflower petals. Taking these petals off the edge. Okay. Now sunflowers, they are such a beautiful flower. The, of course, they're, they're named for the sun which is quite the source of life for our planet and, and water. So we're going to do this one behind it. Let's go ahead and do these. But also they're such a, a happy flower. They remind me of summer, of course, they come out in the summertime. And, and they, they look very healthy, don't they? Yeah, they're, they're a big, robust flower. It's not a, not a shy flower. Yeah, so we're just doing these petals. And I can't help it, but I'm going to channel Bob Ross. These are happy petals. I couldn't help myself. Happy petals. Okay, let, see how I'm, I'm moving my brush? to just get the different shapes. See where you can move your brush to get different shapes. Let a big brush do a lot of work. So the big brush can actually do some, some good small shapes. And one nice thing about the way that handles is that it may be a little irregular when you unload the paint on the canvas. An irregularity um, with a painting is a good thing. No pun intended. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we're just painting in those flowers. 
see how much pattern these flower these flower petals create. They just really create a jazzy um, kind of a zebra stripe pattern going on here. But don't they look like they're happy? I love flowers. You should see my flower garden. Later on in the year, I'll show it to you. Lately, I've been spending, this last week, I've been spending a lot of time in my garden because we've been having really nice weather. And since I'm not going out, see how much this, this big brush can get in there and just do these little shapes? Some painters only paint with just a few brushes. I happen to have hundreds of brushes because I feel like the more tools I have, the better of a painter I am. However, I end up only using just a few. I'm going to put another puddle in here. Okay, let's double this up here. Okay, I don't want to take that petal right to the corner because I don't want to take things off on the corners there. It's good to just take it, stay away from the corner when putting lines into the corner. Okay. Well, there's my sunflower petals to the flower. Now I'm going to paint the center of the flower and it's a mixture of red and blue and you, it creates this kind of brown color. So it's okay if my, br my brush still has the yellow in it. It's not going to hurt that brown color. And now I'm just going to paint the center of these. And I don't want to be perfect. I want to be a little bit lumpy. The sunflowers, even though they look perfect, there's a little bit of undulation in the center where it doesn't go per it does it's not a perfect circle. Okay, so now I'm going to use that this this brush has a sharp edge and that sharp edge can give you some very thin lines. You see that? And and so those thin lines can go in between these petals. Like that. Just let, see how much, how many different shapes, rather, you can get out of one brush. And as you can see, I want to paint out any yellow that's showing up there. Okay. So let's paint this one here. I'm glad this one little yellow flower petal is coming into my center of, of my sunflower just to break up the order of that geometric shape. It's always good to break up geometry when you can. Okay, so these are imperfect ellipses or angular circles. And there we go. Okay. Now, while that is still wet, I'm going to take the back of a brush, any brush, and I'm going to draw circles. See that red coming through? Draw circles going around and around. And these are what I used to love to eat are the sunflower seeds. And then kind of like draw a spider web. Okay. 
And same thing with here. Little circles that are evenly spaced somewhat. It's good to be a little wonky or a little un imperfect. Okay, same thing. We're going to make that spider web. And then the same here. This is an ellipse. You can even do like a like a spiral. Okay. Do your little spider web. It's so much easier to be loose than to be really tight. Same thing here. It's an ellipse. We'll do a spiral because those those are faster. Okay, we're going to go in there and paint in a few little knobs of the sunflower seeds. Not right now though. We'll wait till that dries. Okay. Now wash your wash your one inch brush. Wash it in the in your water. You have a, should have a tub of water. And with the yellow and blue I've made greens, and this is all from cobalt yellow and cad yellow, cobalt blue and cad yellow. So this is a nice green here. So take this green, and this green is going to be our background color. So in the background, just take that brush. Let's, let's switch brushes here. This is too big. I'm going to switch to my... My number, my number six filbert. Okay, so we're just going to go in here. What I want to do is I want to paint the red, but leave some of the red showing. And just this is doesn't take a lot of time. You don't have to be perfect. So we're just going to go in between. And I'm putting a lot of paint on here. Now, I, I like to use a lot of paint because people love texture. And so just going in between here, not too perfectly. It doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. Oh, I missed some petals in there, but that's okay. I'm still going to paint that green. Maybe they blew off in the wind or they're bent over. Okay, so we're just painting this the green in back here. Just little touches right here where it goes to the center. Okay. That's okay. Some of that yellow is still wet, and it's making it a little bit lighter green, which is okay. Yep, that's okay. Okay, so go down here. And this is where you just don't overthink it. Just paint in where, where the, the red is in the background. I'm just going to paint that out there. And don't forget to leave these unpainted. These are going to be dark green. Okay, so I'm letting little, I call them little stars. Little stars of red shining through in between the green and they red and green are complement colors and with complementary colors together it creates what they call flashing and it's almost like a vibration and that creates a lot of energy in a painting when you're using 
cools and warms right next to each other. Green is a cool color, red is a warm color. Um, people have asked me, is blue a cool color? Um, and I tell them, if you get it out of the refrigerator, it is. No, actually, blue, blue is a cool color. It's not about the uh, physical temperature, but the visual temperature. Okay, so I'm going to leave those reds popping through down in here. Don't, yeah, don't paint all the red out if you have a red background. If you have a white background, I would probably recommend painting out the white because then the white becomes like little snowflakes. But it might look good. You just never know. Sometimes little, little mistakes become happy mistakes. Okay, so just, and this is where you don't need to spend a lot of time being perfect. Don't worry about keeping within the lines. A painting should look like a painting. And that means brush strokes. Brush strokes that have action. Don't forget to tell your friends about Paint with Steve on Facebook. That would help us out. Okay, so I'm almost done with, with this color green. Okay, now here is, I'm just going to take the brush. It's already, it's got the green in it, so it's okay. I'm going to dip it into this darker green. This is going to be my leaves. So it's just a heart shape. Okay, it's, it's not a perfect heart. But, you know, during this time and what we're going through, we want to be sensitive to others and we want to make sure that we take care of our friends. And I think when we take care of our friends, then we have a perfect heart. Or even strangers, right? Okay, so we're painting in these darker shapes. These darker leaves, which are a darker shape. And, okay, so we're just going to take a little bit of that dark color and put it behind here. Maybe there's a little bit dark color here. Just put that in there like that. Just to show that that could be another leaf. Okay. And since I have that color just around the sunflower, I'm just going to dab little dots, the outside circle. Those are, those are sunflowers on the outside. Those are sunflowers. Each one of those is a, is a kernel. And on all of these, just little dots in that, inside the little shape that I etched out. Okay, so I am kind of working fast, but you can, after this is aired, you can pause it and, and paint at your leisure. Okay, so I'm just going to do some random dots in here. I'll be putting in other color, just a little bit un, unequal spacing, just little friends of that color and this is also an accent of the leaf color right here we're just using it in other places which is not a bad idea
Okay, now some of you have taken my classes before. Are probably going to ask, where is my white shape? So we're going to pull out white shapes right now. I'm going to wash my brush. I'll use my, I want to use my one inch flat brush. Okay, so I have my palette of yellows and reds and oranges, and I mix some white with my yellow. So I want a, I want a white shape in my painting, and I'm going to take some of this white yellow and irregularly, see how I'm not painting the whole thing? I'm just going to paint a few of these petals white. Let's do these guys. Okay, I'm just doing the tips of these guys down in here. Maybe just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to add some more white shape up in here. Okay, so these are becoming my white shape, what I call my light shape or white shape design in the painting. The dark shape design are going to be the leaves and some of the seeds. Now I want my smallest, you want three unequal masses of a light, dark, and midtone in any order. In this case, my smallest mass of, of value is going to be my dark shape. My light shape is going to be the middle size. So that my light shape has got to be twice as big as my dark. So I just have to make sure that my white shape is twice as big. If the brush gets contaminated with some green, then take your paper towel and just wipe it off. So it, that yellow doesn't become green. Okay, so just painting white shapes. I think I'll go over here. Just different, different size shapes. They don't, you see I'm not being perfect. I don't want to be, I don't want to be perfect here. Because I want it to look a little rough. Overall, it's easier to be a little rough. It's hard to be perfect, right? So, uh, in more ways than one. But in this case, you want to, uh, the uh, painting not to be um, you don't want it to be a lot of work you want it to be fun okay so fun to me is um, not worrying about something so I'm just going to paint this one in here like that okay so my white shape is becoming larger than my dark shape I think I might have just a few, few white shapes down in here. Okay, I'm going to take just the, the bright yellow and paint over my orange that I have. It's kind of a pumpkin color. It's 
So, oops, got it, got it green. So clean the brush, squeegee it, and it should, if you, if you squeegee it with the paper towel and just press between your fingers and pull out the paint, you should get it clean. One stroke, and then it might have had some green on it, so I'm going to pull it off, clean it, and then continue this stroke here. So yellow and orange are mid-tones. So my yellow shape is really not a white shape, or what I would call a white shape. I'll kind of describe that a little bit more later. Um, but it's a mid-tone shape. So this is definitely looking like a sun. And and I'm not painting all that color out. So I'm letting the, the first color I painted show through. That's really important. Because then you see all that different all those different colors. And and to me, color is exciting. And that's why it's fun to be an artist. Because we get to paint color. And so I'm showing all the different colors I use. Even my red background is coming through. Okay, so maybe these are just a little outline. Now these are just going to outline. Yeah, and I got to tell you, I'm liking this painting. It has a, it has an honest look to it. Okay, and it doesn't look overworked. I'm going to put some yellow in here. Okay, maybe we'll leave yellow in here. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to take my, my brown that I have and take a little bit of, take my filbert brush or a small brush. Take a little bit of the brown, and I'm going to mix it with the orange. And I'm going to use this to continue to do some more seeds. So it's kind of a burnt sienna. Okay, I'm not being too perfect again. Just let, let your freedom, let your freedom fly. Just be free. Don't be too tight. Tight is when you're trying to paint in between the lines. Don't be too tight. Just paint. You just want to express yourself. Let the paint just come off the brush easily. Make sure you load up your brush generously with paint. So I'm mixing it into the orange. It's going a little bit lighter, but that's okay. Okay, so it just creates a different color. Keep it in that circular pattern because that's how the sunflower seeds are. Okay, so keep it in that circular pattern. Okay, we're just going around, just going around. Okay, now as we get towards the center, we're going to go right into the orange. So the orange sunflower, and just like this, the, 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 the sunflower seeds, as they get towards the center, they turn more yellow. And they're, they, they're the uh, fuzzy little part of the flower that the bees like before the flower has turned into fruit. I'm going to put a few of those oranges on the side. Yeah. I want to say hello to my friend in San Francisco, Eureka. She's in San Francisco. She's a great artist. Hi, Eureka. And my friend in Colorado, Maggie, Bob Hirsch, and Jean... Jean 
Janine from Foothills and all my friends at Foothills Art Center. Okay, now we're going into the orange. And we're just putting that orange in the center. Okay, not to worry about being perfect again. You see how the, the lines and the and what I would call blobs of paint <laughs> um, give you the illusion of this perfect make natural center of the sunflower. Now we're going to take the yellow and, and right in the center we're just going to put a few imperfectly. Don't make a perfect circle. Just a few and these are what the bumblebees love to go on to. I want to say hi to my our new friends that just tuned in from Paris. Bonjour. Hi, Nicole from London, Ontario. Okay, now let's go back into our our dark color. We're going to beef up our dark color. So take a little bit of black. I'm taking some of that black with my green. And wow, I made it almost a green black. Okay, that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to take this, this black green and just do have some big shapes, different size shapes in the sunflower. Sunflower leaves in the sunflower leaves. Sunflower leaves are kind of lumpy. They're like spinach leaves. And so these are just the little lumps, different sizes of this darker shape and this darker shape is helping me establish my dark shape design. Okay and I think I might have one coming over here. Okay, and let's do the stem. Okay, and let's see here. With the, the greens, I'm going to wash my brush, the same brush I was using, the number six filbert. Come into the, I have a lighter green here. Come into my lighter green. I'm just going to paint some light greens in here. And these could be different leaves coming through the background, different uh, parts of the plant coming through, different shapes, just to give it a little bit more what I would call information. Okay, and we're just going to touch it everywhere. Big pieces, small pieces. Okay. Now, I won't be able to say hello to everybody because I can't remember all your names right off the bat, but I do want to say thank you so much for joining me today on Paint with Steve at Steve Tracy Gallery on Facebook. Please uh, tell your friends about us and let them, let them enjoy what, what you're doing if you're enjoying that today.
bringing out the Van Gogh in you. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. Okay, I'm going to take some of those, some of this green, and I'm going to just do a couple of C's on the back of it, on the side here. Just a couple of them, random, just to give us some variety. And a little bit of, it's a little bit of psychedelia. It's a little bit of fun, right? It's not perfect, but it looks fun. And I just love to play with color. Just playing with color, seeing what color looks like to, uh, next to other colors. And what does that do emotionally? And sometimes you can express your sadness or happiness with painting. It's amazing how painting will bring out you. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to go back in and touch up some of my yellow on my petals. Okay. Now I'm going to introduce, I want to use my six inch fill, six, number six filter. And I happen to like red. So in a little bit of this, I'm going to add a little bit of red. A little bit of red goes a long ways. Using some of the orange here. Just a few dashes here and there. You don't want to overdo it. Irregular. Go ahead and whenever I have new color, I might just touch the center of this sunflower just to give it variety. It's just a blast to be able to create this masterpiece. I mean, it's a masterpiece to me and my mother. But to me, you know, the most confident I have would be to say, I'm having fun. I am having fun. And no one could say you didn't have fun. And if someone could look at your painting, and if they say, that looks like fun, then you told a story. Paintings tell a story, don't they? Yeah, this is a happy painting. Yeah, just a little bit of red goes a long ways. I'm going to take some some red red. Let's put a few of those inside the inside the the sunflower. Is this looking pretty good from you from your point of view? How are how is your painting turning out? I'll answer your questions after the broadcast. Please post on. Facebook, your paintings. Okay. I'm going to take some of this yellow. And since, oh, I got a little bit of orange in that. That's okay. That's from the red. Don't want too much of those kind of strokes going on because I don't want a muddy look. So I'm going to wash my brush. Make sure it's clean. And go back into this, into this, um, yellow here and restate some of these colors here. I, I want to I want to see an, in this painting since I mixed a lot of paint. I want to see the texture of the paint. 
that's going to add just a lot of juiciness and people want to they want to go up and look at the texture it brings them into the painting so this is just kind of beginning to do what I want it to do Yep, and I'm going to restate my my white shape in the petals. So I'm coming to an end of this painting. Now I'm going to take some white right here and mix it with my light yellow, just to make sure it's white, 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 white yellow. I want it to be bright. I'm just going to make sure that. It makes it a little bit more white. It's okay if it's white. Just going to restate. The white shape. Just to make them definitely go into that. White shape realm. So that our math equation, to me, the math equation is three shapes of three values in three unequal sizes or masses. So all of these dark shapes are one mass of dark. All of these white shapes are one mass of light. Now, I'm seeing here that my yellow dried a little bit darker. Acrylic dries about 10% darker, it seems to me. Um, and so I need to grow my white shape because I wanted my white shape to be bigger than my dark shape. So I'm going to grow the white shape a little bit more and that means adding a little bit more white to my yellow petals because I want that white shape to be bigger than the dark. Okay, we can, all these little pieces to the white shape, if I just did a little piece like that of white, that becomes one, of, one piece of the whole white shape. So it's the mass of the whole white shape is the mass of all these whites larger than the mass of the darks. And when I squint, I would say, yes, it's getting that. So I'm just going to add a little more just to make sure it is because that was the equation of values that I was talking about. That's more important in the painting than the subject, in my opinion. Because that is the essence of where the design, the design rides on the values, not necessarily on on the subject, but on how does the painter paint those values. Okay, a little bit more information here this week. Okay, I'm also going to increase the, the oranges and yellows inside these flowers there. And this is going to also shrink my dark shape a little bit because the centers of these flowers, the outside edge, is becoming a dark shape, it is a dark shape. I'm just going to kind of shrink it a little bit, adding... I want to keep it irregular. I don't want to be perfect in the, the way that I lay in that pattern. Okay, now with my blues, going back into my blues, I, I think I'm almost done here. I'm just going to touch up 
uh, touch my leaves a little bit. Take some of that green, and I made a, I made a, a blue green here. It's a lighter blue green here, and I'm just going to touch some of this these leaves here with this blue green shape. Little outline. Okay, I'm going to take some of that, this, the light blue green. I'm just going to touch a few of these sunflower seeds. Not a lot. And There you go, I think. I think we have a painting here. Okay. If you have any questions, I'll be able to answer them a little later on after, after this video is posted. And uh, if you haven't already liked our Facebook page, take a moment and like our page. Then we will keep you informed as to what we are doing next. Okay, so um, I think we have, I think we have a sunflower painting. What do you think? Well, listen, I want to thank you all very much for joining me today. Uh, please be safe and love, love your, love your fellows, and uh, join me next week. We'll have something new. Uh, check out my Facebook page uh, during the middle part of the week and I'll give you a clue on what we're going to be painting with my, with my new little addition to my Facebook page. So happy painting and take care. I love you all. Bye for now.